Hi everyone, welcome to Jen the Real Fluencer and my very final episode of WOW Week. What is WOW Week? It stands for Week of Walmart, a ginormous, ginormous <laughs> Walmart haul that is broken down into categories of like tops, pants, shoes, so that you really only have to watch what you want to watch. And in this video here today, I'm actually going to be styling some of my favorites throughout WOW Week. So I don't normally do styling videos, so this is a little bit different for me. And if you've been with me kind of throughout this whole WOW week, I didn't want this to be boring for you. I've gotten in, I've gotten, I've gotten in quite a few new pieces. So I'm actually gonna be sprinkling in WOW week favorites with some of uh, new finds. If you're down for the styling, I now have the community tab available to me because I've recently hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all for a thousand. And I'm actually gonna be posting some styling over there pretty often and I don't don't think that you get to see any of that in your feed if you are not a subscriber. I think that is factual. And just in case you are new here, I always tout myself as just like I'm decent. Like I'm decent at beauty style, fashion, good, not great. Uh, and I really like to kind of joke around. <laughs> That's kind of my whole vibe here. If you're down for that, then you probably are my people. <laughs> I love this first one. I feel like this is like the epitome of my style. I've got the ripped jean short with the kind of fancier blazer but then also the graphic tee so the graphic tee i certainly wanted it to be fitted like this that's why i ordered a small i will say these scoop blazers do not sleep on them i bought a couple of them and they are just so good i have a bunch of limited blazers like rest in peace the limited used to be my favorite store that i actually still wear to work all the time my real job and I will tell you that these rival that. So if you're familiar with that type of quality, that's what they feel like. They're fully lined. I actually love that it has this, the scrunched up sleeves so that you can see your bracelets and all that kind of stuff. So I paired it with white and black shorts. Let me know down in the comments which is your favorite. I think I probably like the black better. I know a lot of people like an all white moment or this in this case it's kind of an ivory moment. How I would normally look at something like this is I would take a little bit of a color out and that's kind of what I did with the yellow shoes here but it always looks good you know when you're designing an outfit or a room to kind of take a small color out and put it at least one other place if that makes sense into the entire look and I feel like that just really pulls everything together of course there are situations where we're gonna do just a pop I get that and normally I don't love the matchy matchy vibe I really love this little crossbody from no boundaries because it kind of looks like a backpack but it's a true crossbody and just coincidentally it was the most random same flower type of pattern since they were both kind of small parts of the look I thought it would look cute together and I think it did work you might remember in my shorts video if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I tried over 40 pairs of shorts. Great tips for midsize curvy. I have hated biker shorts in the past and I feel like these are so flattering. So if you have a similar problem to that, definitely try these biker shorts. I feel like I normally wouldn't wear a shirt like this tucked in, but I wanted you to be able to see the champion logo. I thought it worked out really well. I would advise you too to actually put a belt around this. That will really help if you're trying to accentuate curves or if you're not super curvy and you want to appear more curvy. I felt like, I mean, I have, I have a lot of curves. I'm sure you can see. I feel like I didn't really Really needed and I kind of liked it open. This is actually a bathing suit cover-up. I love this thing. It comes in black too. I really want to get my hands on the black one. So I thought it paired so well with my little champion crossbody and that big tote bag. I just wanted to feature because it does match. Great for a vacation, the pool, whatever. And I just love my little sport watch. This was probably in one of my first Walmart videos when I started my channel last fall. So this is more of a true street style type of look. And I don't think I said this in the beginning, but I suffer from multiple styles disorder. <laughs> I've heard someone else say that and I was like, oh my gosh, that is the perfect terminology. I love street chic, street style. I love preppy. I love edgy prep. I'm also a business professional, so I wear a lot of profesh clothes. You're gonna see a lot of different styles in this video to kind of speak to my multiple styles disorder. <laughs> My next style, I have more of a preppy look. I raved about these short alls in my Wow Week video, and they are just fabulous. Couple things with these, why I like them. So, number one, I mean, you can adjust the length based on this situation right here. So, you wanna hike them up, hike them up, you wanna pull them down, do that. The length, though, is perfect, and the legs are made to be a little bit bigger. I find it fits true to size. Anytime your legs are swimming in 
shorts. I'm swimming's not the right word, but hopefully you know what I mean. It's gonna make your legs look a little bit smaller. And then I always love to have something cinched at the waist. So if you are trying to accentuate curves or give yourself some shape, I paired them here with what I referred to as my little yacht shoes before. And I thought, to pull that little from the almond round toe up front, there's like a little bit of crocheting kind of feeding into the espadrille there. And I thought it looked really cute to pull that in with the actual crochet backpack. Seeing crochet everywhere, um, it's definitely a trend this year. Pardon the interruption, but this is different day, different week, Jen right here, gonna be finishing out the rest of this video. It's gonna be done a little bit differently in style and format with mostly video uh, that I shot from my phone. Life kind of got in the way of this video, so I do apologize, but I wanted to get it up for you guys. I really hope you don't mind. So let's talk about this next outfit. <laughs> like an all green kind of vibe and I used those really great shorts that I had mentioned in my shorts video these were the pair of scoop that are actually clearance right now I think there are still some available I know some sizes are sold out at this point but they're like $13 bodysuit tank which um, I have in a size large the shorts are in a 16 I noticed that they're essentially almost like the same kind of sagey minty green type of color and I paired them with this really cute kimono which is really can be found I believe it's in store only but it can be found in the bathing suit section and that is one thing I really love doing. I love pairing kimonos with, you know, shorts, especially if you do happen to be self-conscious about your legs, even if you are wearing shorts. I did it with two different shoe options. I feel like the first one is more of, you know, like a, a traditional sandal that looks really great. It matches the kimono. And then the other option is a little bit more edgy. Um, it's probably the option that I like the best. <laughs> This next look here is playing in from the graphic tee, which was in my tops video. Graphic tees are huge right now, especially band tees. Dark with dark, and then it has kind of the rocker type sandals that were featured in the sandals video. The t-shirt is a medium, which I would say for an oversized tee fits true to size. The jean shorts are no boundaries, uh, which is junior sizing, so I would always recommend to go up in that. I noticed when I did my uh, shorts video, the 17 did work, but the 19 I thought does work better for me. So that's what I'm wearing here is the size 19. I would say that they fit true to size for no boundaries. The shoes, in and out of stock all season, but I will say Walmart's doing a really good job at restocking these shoes. They're so popular. I have them on here in the clear, but honestly, you could wear them in any of the colors that it came with. With this look, really did not have the perfect bag to go with this, but when I was kind of putting this outfit together, I did notice on Walmart that they had the perfect bag bag because it was white silver studding on it so I'll make sure to link that below too <laughs> If you like the color pink, you might really like this next one. So again, with a little bit of the monochromatic and also the concept of having like winter, summer mixed together. Let me just start with the bag because this bag is very special. I actually did feature it in one of my Walmart weeklies. Shameless plug, if you um, haven't subscribed, make sure you do. I now do Walmart weeklies, which I do try to post weekly. It doesn't always happen, but it's really just like stuff that might, might make it into a video. It might not. Stuff sells out quickly. But anyway, these crossbody bags with the little coin strap are so, so popular right now. And obviously this one is meant to look kind of like a Louis Vuitton bag and they do have it in different colors so like if you're not feeling the pink they do have one with a black strap they actually also have one with that has the the brown checkered they actually have a Gucci look-alike one too so I'll make sure to link all those down below this champion shirt actually I did get it at Walmart but it is no longer available at Walmart I did find it at Macy's so if you happen to like it I will link it one of the reasons why I actually did really like this one is I feel like Sherpa and anything in kind of the Sherpa fleece type family normally looks not great on my curvy body. This is in a size medium, so I definitely did size down. And I thought it looked really pretty good. And I paired them with, if you remember from my shorts video, the pink shorts that were like missing. So here they are. And these shorts are important to talk about because they do run very small. I'm a size 14, typically in jeans. Usually with shorts, I go up a size. I know many of us do that. This one, I actually had to go up two sizes. So these shorts that you're seeing here in the pink are a size 18. Well, I actually really, really like these shorts because I love the button fly. And I think that the length on them is really, really good. So this next look I'm gonna call kind of like a summer date night look so it's a little bit of an unexpected pairing these scoop jeans are still in stock I don't know how they're still in stock they're on clearance for $14 I love them because they're just so different they're they're not only a gray jean I think they do actually call them an acid wash gray jean 
and I think these are a really great summer jean for two reasons. I really like them because number one, they are kind of like an ankle cropped jean. I wouldn't call them a capri. Now keep in mind, I am five foot seven. And the fact that they are such a light jean, I think you could kind of almost categorize them as a colored jean, if you will. And I feel like colored jeans in general, I know they're not like super in style right now, but any kind of colored jean, I feel like is a little bit more summery. So I feel like because it kind of falls in that category, it's, a, it's just a really good jean for the summer. And pairing it with this lilac color, I just thought it looked really cute. So I will say this bodysuit is almost sold out, but I did do some shopping for you guys and I found a vibrant purple color to pair with it. It's not a bodysuit. And then I also found just a lilac, very similar color tank. I have two tricks. Making regular tank tops look like a bodysuit. So many people, hey, what bodysuit is that? I am almost never wearing a bodysuit. And what I typically do when I'm looking at just a regular tank top and I wanna make it look like a bodysuit, I usually size down by one, not always. And if you're worried about that, don't size down. Probably the bigger trick is the second trick. Uh, but keep that in mind. I mean, because generally bodysuits obviously are fitted. So just, I'd say keep that in mind. Maybe don't necessarily size down, but keep in mind that you want it to be pretty fitted. I mean, that's like kind of the whole point, right? Um, and then the other part is that I always tuck it into my these. And trust me when I tell you it doesn't go anywhere. I do it all the time. These stud shoes, if you saw my trends video where, you know, like a half decent person trying to tell you what the trends are, that would be me. <laughs> if not, I'll link it. Studded stuff is very popular. So this is a great take on that with not only is it going to give you height because it's a, it's a wedge and it's a platform. They're very comfortable too. They run true to size. The difference between seeing these on the ground and putting them on, especially with this outfit, I mean, I just, I felt like I went from just normal to like, dang, like I wanna go on a date night. Like I wanna leave the house. I wanna do something in these shoes. So these shoes are really, really good. These are also a kind of like a designer dupe, if you will, from Steve Madden. I think the Steve Madden version is a good 80 something dollars. So, and these are 20 bucks. Highly recommend these shoes. <laughs> These next two looks are really kind of taking the same pants that actually were not featured in WOW Week and pairing them with things that are. So these pants are interesting, they're very wide leg and they're certainly cropped. I really love the high waist on them as well as the fact that they're belted. So with the first look, I wanted it to be more of like kind of a street chic kind of look. So I paired it with heels, paired it with that pocket tee that I featured in my tops WOW Week video. Kind of a grungy, distressed hat on. Crossbody bag has been sold out. So I will certainly link some other options for you. They have one on Amazon that looks pretty similar. So I'll definitely link that for you. If and then the second way that I styled these pants is with like a very aged shirt, kind of a muscly kind of a tank that I found from Time and True. I got it in a small because I wanted it to fit fitted like that. So I would say it actually does fit true to size for Time and True. And then I paired it with that champion bag that I just went on and on about um, in my bags and shoes video. And then I actually have them with kind of the rocker studded sandal that I just spoke about a couple outfits ago. Chose them in the white for this one. And this is more of like a very casual day look. <laughs> And then for my last and final outfit, I really wanted to challenge myself. So give this video a like if you saw my pants video because... <laughs> I really liked these jeans from Scoop. They're just so trendy, very wide leg. I wanted to almost challenge myself and decide to style them. I know I didn't like how they looked without shapewear, so I was like, you know what? Let me put shapewear on with these things and let's just see what happens, you know? I have a whole shapewear video if you're interested. Different ways that I wear kind of anything from light shapewear to like heavy shapewear. But I will say, I don't normally wear it with jeans, but I will tell you in this example, they made all the difference. So I will make sure that I link the exact shapewear that I used. The sad part about these jeans is they're all but sold out, but my girl, Sofia Vergara, who has my favorite jeans in the whole wide world. Now I don't have hers in this style, but she came out with a style that looks almost literally identical to these scoop jeans and they're fully stocked because they're brand new. So I will make sure to link those if you're just looking for the look. This is actually the same bodysuit as the lilac one. I believe they even came in a set. There's a couple sizes left, not many. There are a couple other bodysuits that I can link for you that are basically very similar. I paired them with these shoes. I can certainly link those below. They're not from Walmart. This bag is from Amazon and they do have a black version so I'll be sure to link the gray and the black version below if you like space buns if you like space buns stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a space bun tutorial upcoming hopefully soon I don't know in the next several weeks <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. So that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's funny because when I first said that I was going to do a styling video, I'm like, you know, it's probably going to go terribly. And I have to say it did not go well. 
<laughs> I liked the looks that I put together, but doing the styling videos takes a lot longer. Love the content that I'm putting out for you, but it's, you know, it's just a lot more work than I anticipated. And I, I have a, um, a very rigorous uh, full-time job. Give this video a like if you liked the outfits and, you know, hopefully I'll do better next time. I have found myself doing a lot more kind of like OOTD styles in my vertical video format that I put on TikTok and upload as YouTube shorts. To me, for right now at this point in my life, seems like it's a little bit more manageable to do. I will see you guys next time. Bye.